John, I can't believe it's uh, finally come down to this. You know, we, we've always said that nothing ruins a good war story like an eyewitness. So I'd be remiss if I didn't start with our first encounters probably almost a half a century ago across the gridiron when you were coaching at the Air Force Academy. You used to bring those uh, lightning bolt helmets up to the Wyoming high country to meet the cowpokes in those ugly uniforms. And I guess I ought to apologize for those long solar rides you used to make back down to uh, Colorado Springs, but I won't apologize. John, what you've done and the impact you've had on so many kids over so many years uh, is the stuff of legend and the cause of richly deserved praise. But who you are and the impact you've had on those of us who've had the opportunity to watch you in action is also incredibly powerful. Your vision, your passion, your drive, your energy, your sense of purpose, your deep caring has been obvious in everything you've said and done uh, all the way. And I know that I am better for having had the opportunity to learn from you and be inspired by you. Thank you very much. Cindy, you've been much more than a supporter. You've been a partner uh, all along the way. Uh, and your own devotion to the cause has had a hugely positive impact. Marilyn and I feel very fortunate and quite proud to have been inside your orbit. And we wish you the very best of success and happiness in all else that you do. Congratulations, John, on your retirement. Um, just wanted to say thank you so much for everything that you've done for the Warrior Foundation. Without this, um, I would not have been able to go to um, the college of my choice and dream, and that meant everything to my dad. Education was very important to, um, for him, for my sister and I, to get our four-year degree. So we really appreciate it and everything that you've done in the foundation. John, I just want to say thanks for your leadership of the Special Operations Warrior Foundation. As we watched it grow over the years, I don't think any of us realized the need would be as great as it is today. But because of your great work, your leadership, your vision, and your passion for taking care of our children, the Special Operations Warrior Foundation is there today when it's needed and will be there in the future. So I think I speak for everybody in Special Operations when I say thanks. John, I just want to uh, wish you a happy retirement. It's hard to believe it's been uh, 12 years since we met. I enjoyed uh, all the trips we've taken together to Hurlburt Field and, and other places. And it was evident to me from, from day one and talking to people, uh, both that are your friends and that have served with you, that uh, you commanded a great deal of their respect. And that's due to your service to the country, one, but it's also due to you as a human being and uh, the way you conduct yourself and the way you lead. I just want to say thank you for everything that you've done, not only for myself as I received um, some scholarship money to go to school as well, but what you're doing for my, for my family as well. Um, I have three younger brothers and they are all provided the opportunity um, to go to school because of what you guys are doing and continue to do. So thank you for what you do, and, uh, not only for me and my family, but for all special operations um, children, future and present. He has done a wonderful job. No, nobody does this by themselves. I, I understand it's it's teamwork. He's built, but he's built a staff. He's built a board. He's built connections with organizations all over the United States that contribute money to the Warrior Foundation. We have uh, a record now that I'm very proud of. That he's very proud of. And I'll tell you right now. He's got some big shoes left for someone else to fill. John Carney is an exceptional individual and it's been my honor and privilege to know him. As we go through life, we meet thousands of people, but only a few of them will end up in our personal hall of fame. For me, John is one of those. He is truly unique. He is big, strong, tough, focused, driven, and fun. He is Irish, you know. But when it comes to our kids and families, he is tender, loving, caring, and a pushover. John, thanks for what you've done for our nation and for building the Warrior Foundation into the preeminent military support organization in America today. God bless. Hi, Coach. Hi, Coach. Just wanted to thank you for everything you've done. In my heart, you're always going to be a coach because you've coached me into being able to go forward with 
with our lives and, and what we can do personally to help and uh, taught me what it means to give of yourself even in the face of, of tragedy. And uh, to us, to our family, and to the children, you'll always lead from the front. Thank you. John, I first met you 13 years ago when you were in a board office. You had just taken over the Special Operations Warrior Foundation. You had a bunch of manila folders and that's about it. No computers, no staff, not even an office of your own. You used someone else's office. You had just recruited General Pete Schoomaker to join you on the board and you were looking for help from other people. You didn't even know how many children there were out there that you were supposed to send to college because the organization had lost track of them all. You said, we're gonna find them all and we're gonna send them all to college. And during the next 12 or 13 years, that's what you did. You found them all and you raised enough money to be sure that all the children of all fallen special operations warriors will always be able to go to college. You have left a legacy that will never be forgotten. On behalf of all the families and all the children, John, thank you. I've known John uh, Carney for uh, 35 years. I've known him as a superb officer and a brave warrior, a marvelous man, and uh, my good friend. But John will always be known in our community for the great service that he has rendered to the Special Ops Warrior Foundation for these last uh, 16 years. And so I simply want to say to John, uh, well done. The community holds you in the highest esteem. And I hope we'll remain good friends until Lord Odin calls us both to Valhalla. Uh, I've served you as a comptroller in Special Ops when you were Special Tactics Commander, and I've served you as the treasurer of the Warrior Foundation. That's two of the best things I've ever done, working for Special Ops and also putting my time in with Warrior Foundation. Uh, I admire you, I respect you, and I wish you the best in retirement. Enjoy it. Signing off. Congratulations, John. Very exciting for your retirement. Uh, I do really want to extend my gratitude and sincere gratefulness for all of the work that you have done for myself as well as my sister and all of the other recipients out there. This is truly an amazing cause and you have done an extraordinary job and you've left some big shoes to fill and we love you. So thank you. John, I can't think of a better place than the Herbert Field Air Park to talk about you and the Special Operations Warrior Foundation, surrounded by all these warbirds and with the combat talent in the background. You arrived on the scene in 1998, set the stage for the Special Operations Warrior Foundation to achieve the great things it's done in these past 15 years you've been here. You've given it the guidance and the vision to make things happen that in the early days we never thought possible. When I think back on the, the many years and the, your accomplishments within the United States Special Operations Command, within the Joint Special Operations Command, within the Air Force Special Operations Command, and of course, you really are the godfather of combat control in the special tactics arena. You're gonna be remembered for all of those things. But your lasting legacy is gonna be the 16 years you spent running the Special Operations Warrior Foundation. John, under your leadership, the Special Operations Warrior Foundation became one of the most efficient and effective charities in our nation. Thanks to you, all of us in Special Operations were able to keep a covenant with our fallen brothers by providing the financial support to the loved ones that they left behind. I'm honored to be your friend and humbled to be the one that you picked to come behind you. I say come behind you because I know, and all of us know, nobody can replace you, John. Thanks for your leadership. Thanks for everything that you've done. Good luck. Hi, John. Andy Anderson here. And from uh, an Army guy to an, to an Air Force guy, I'd just like to say congratulations and, and uh, good on you for your a wonderful career past retirement. So now I know you're retiring again. And uh, in fact, you've got quite a few accolades in your illustrious career. In fact, I was sitting with you at a table one night and the Master of Ceremonies was recanting all the many accolades and wonderful awards you've gotten. And you started, I think, back when you were like in the second grade, because it went on and droned on for like nine minutes. And you went from the Bull Simons Award and the Rylander Award and the SOCOM Award and the SOFIC Award and about 20 others, and I just couldn't resist. I leaned over to you at that time and said, Damn, Carney, 
what year did you win the Heisman? And it turns out that's the only award you haven't won. So what my wish is to you is you suit back up, get in shape, and go back and win a Heisman. Because if anybody can do it, you can do it. So God bless you, Godspeed, and go for the Heisman. Hey John, congratulations on your retirement from the community. You know, your legacy will live on forever in the soft community, but more importantly through the thousand young men and women that you've helped with their education. On a personal note, I really want to thank you for welcoming me to SOCOM back in 2003. You were awesome, you and Bob Mabry and, and Joe McGuire and some of the others, so God bless you for that. God bless you for your six decades of service to our country. We wish you and Cindy all the best. God bless you, Coach. Semper Fi. Thank you, John, for the leadership and direction you have provided the Special Operations Warrior Foundation, for the superb staff you have assembled, Steve, Edie, Wendy, and others, and how they work so diligently every day to fulfill the important mission of the Foundation. Let me address John Carney and his, his contribution to things within the military and outside. Really, I guess the question is, what do you say about a legend? John and I were participants in the Iranian rescue attempt in Iran, 1980, in Grenada for the rescue of the American students in 1983, and then in Desert Storm in 1991. That's kind of our military days. And then since so we both retired and then my knowledge of John's activities with the as, the, as the president of the Special Operations Warrior Foundation has been magnificent. What he has done will never be equaled by anybody else. And he's built this organization as he did from the military, almost from scratch to the point where it's a great foundation and supports the children of Special Operations people who lost their lives within the military. So John Carney is a legend. Uh, this is the third retirement uh, that I've seen you do. Uh, you had two out of the military, if I remember right. So uh, hopefully this will be your third retirement and you can relax and enjoy the rest of your life. It's certainly been great uh, being friends with you and Cindy. So uh, from Tracy and I, uh, happy sailing. I know you like the cruises, so uh, have a good time. We'll keep in touch. Take care, partner. Hoo-yah. It's, uh, it's been quite a ride, and uh, I couldn't be more proud uh, of having been associated with you over many years as the, uh, you know, from Desert One and our experiences there, and uh, your great heroics uh, all the way through a long career as the father of uh, Air Force Special Tactics. Uh, it's been quite a ride, and uh, you've got a great deal to be proud of. When you took over the foundation, it was stagnant at best. Uh, in no way, shape, or form were we able to cover even the responsibilities and the commitments that we had at the time. You gave up a uh, promising job and a promising career to come here for less money. Many people don't know that. And you made this job your own, and you made this foundation your own. And you went all over the country talking about Special Operations Warrior Foundation and talking about these troops, and talking about what we're trying to do and you gave it your all. Because of that, we sit here today and we can honestly look in the faces of these men and women and tell them we can take one thing off your plate. The education of your children is guaranteed. We can do it, we can cover it, don't worry about it. You have been so instrumental in keeping the promise, the promise that a lot of good people made in 1980 after the failed attempt to rescue the American hostages in Iran. You have led the way in keeping the promise of taking care of those children. And today, with over a thousand kids in the program, you're still keeping the promise to them and to their families. And now we've piled on the wounded warriors within Special Operations as well, and their families, and the, and the assistance and support that the Foundation provides them. So that is gonna be your lasting legacy you should be extremely proud of everything you've accomplished. I'm proud to call you my friend. Uh, you are a great boss, a great mentor, and a great coach. 
So coach, it's, uh, as, as you come to the, to the end of, of this accomplishment, after having done what you did in the, in the Air Force and what you now did for SOF with the Special Operations Warrior Foundation, I look forward to spending a lot of time with you on the boat doing some fishing. Uh, you have accomplished things that other people couldn't accomplish. I don't know how, I don't know why, I don't know what you've used to do that, but, uh, but you've done it and you've done a great job. Thank you very much. John, well, just want to uh, wish you a very happy retirement and let you know that we're going to miss you very, very much. It has been such a great opportunity for all of us to work with you, to be able to see your vision and see where this foundation uh, has gone for the thousand families in special operations, we want to thank you. You made a difference in the lives of every one of them. What a privilege it has been to work with you now for the past 37 years. We wish you the very, very best in your retirement. We'll miss you, John.